Before we get to the November election, a special summer election is taking place on June 11th for Ohio's 6th Congressional District, encompassing Mahoning and Columbiana counties and then other counties to our south. This election will allow voters to select a representative to fill the seat for former Congressman Bill Johnson, who left to take on the role of Youngstown State's president. The Democratic candidate on the ticket, Michael Kripchak, is here with me now. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me right here on 21 News at 5. Absolutely, and thank you for yes. uh, taking the time to let everyone know about the election that's happening on June 11th. Yes, and we are their, your place for politics, so we will cover <laughs> it all. I want to start with the top issue your campaign is yep. focusing on on your website. It says restoring the American dream. Yes. So wages are higher right now, so is inflation. How would you govern to help people in the Valley obtain that? Okay, so for, for us, it's all about bringing high pay, high skill, high dignity jobs back to the Ohio River Valley in our district. So our plan is to bring modern manufacturing here. That's advanced alloys, advanced carbonics, um, advanced metallics. Look, if you, if you want to rejuvenate economy, you need industry there. And that's not going to be done by something extractive like with fracking. It's going to be like actually getting back to what we are best at, and that's production. And I want to get to the energy in just a second. But first, with so many jobs, though, on the table and the inflation so high, mm -hmm. do you think that it's time for the government to curb some of its spending? Well, that's actually having very little to no effect on what's happening with inflation. A report that just came out this last year, 52% of inflation is just simply due to increased corporate profits, right? Only 8% is due to increased wages. Now, I know that's shocking for a lot of people, but this is what the data and the numbers are saying, right? It's nice that Congress is finally taking steps to try to curb these exorbitant prices that are happening at grocery stores. And what I think it comes down to is that shrinkflation during the pandemic taught our corporations a very bad lesson. And that's that they could just keep raising prices. And no matter how much we're struggling, we'll keep paying them. And this is when it comes back to there's just not enough competition in the market right now, right? There's capitalism and then there's corporatism. A free market economy doesn't mean lawless. A free market economy means that there's rules in place, a strong structure from the government to enable free access to the market, both on the production side, uh, the selling side, as well as from the consumer side. And it's the same thing, I've been talking to a lot of farmers, it's the same thing that's happening in our grocery stores, it's happening with them with the equipment they need to buy, it's happening with cars, happening with houses. Anytime there's over consolidation in markets, there's only like two companies that control our food production distribution at a large scale. But if people are country. willing to pay the prices or have to pay those prices, what's going to make them not spend the money on it? Well, this is when we start getting back to trust busting. There's too many monopolies, too many duopolies. Like if, if so business will always tend towards consolidation because the most because businesses are just focused on efficiency, right? The government's focus is on robustness, right? We saw this during COVID when, you know, um, I think it was Tyson, when they had a COVID outbreak at their plant, they had to keep it open. Why? Because there's them and I think one other uh, chicken meat packing place, meat processing place in the nation, right? It's over consolidation. So our people are forced to continue buying these products because they don't have options. And, and it happens throughout history. It's wealth gaps that destroy societies. Now your opponent, Republican Mike Rooley, says he wants to open up the region to more natural gas drilling, help lower prices. Where do you stand on drilling? Are you for that or do you think that there should be more diversity in the portfolios? Well, and he likes to also call himself a businessman, but he doesn't seem to understand the basic business principles of diversification. Right? The way do we have energy independence is to have a diverse energy market. Look, if people want to sell their mineral rights and allow fracking on their lands, that's up to them. I'm definitely not for what's happening now in the state house where they're trying to make it easier for big oil to just take people's mineral rights and force them into contracts. It's unitization. unitization. That's going through this Ohio state house right now. Those are the kind of things that uh, my opponent is for. Right? So it's if people want to do it, that's great. I am not okay with it in our public lands. But what this will do is there's this thing called Dutch disease when you go to business school, you learn about this. It's what happens when your economy shifts to an extractive economy. And then once everything's extracted, this has decimated your production, this has decimated your other industries, and all of a sudden those communities are left to rot, right? And then secondly, when it comes to fracking, there's a price floor on this, 
Right. Well, it's consumer demand and, and supply and demand. And I, I think when we'll get more into the markets and, and whatnot okay. as we report, but I want to move on because I want to get all the issues before we're out of time. Roger that. Um, you have picked up endorsements from the Tribune, the Vindicator unions, including the United Steelworkers Union, United mm -hmm. Mine Workers of America, yes, also Black Caucus, and also um, or the Youngstown Warren Black Caucus and Moms for Ohio. Mm -hmm. Aside from their campaign support, how do you feel about your chances in this district? Because the way it is drawn up, it does mm -hmm. tend to lean conservative, mm -hmm. and it had a conservative in its seat prior to you. So how do you feel about your chances right now? I, I think our chances are outstanding. It's all about letting people know that I am here on the campaign trail working for them. Like, I've been down to the cattle auction down in Carrollton. I've been down to uh, Washington County, Marietta, after their flooding. I know Michael Rooley is now saying that he's been down there, but doesn't no one has any proof or evidence of this. I've been down visiting the striking workers down in New Philadelphia uh, when they were striking for great oil industries and they just got their new contract this last Sunday, so good on them. So it's all about letting people know that I am on the trail. I really appreciate you coming here on 21 News at 5 where we do cover it all. Thank you. Thank you.